Welcome to my channel, it's Aileen from Scrap Amazing and I'm here with another video in my collaboration with the Tattooed Crafter. And today our videos are all about our planning process. So how can you plan to document your travels? First of all, I have to say that I normally um, start um, planning my documentation after I'm coming back. So. When I go somewhere, I normally just go there, take a lot of photos, take memorabilia with me and just put it in one big uh, bag. I have a huge envelope for it and then I go and enjoy my travels. So when I come back, I start uh, yeah, sorting out and planning my project. So. For this collaboration, I already told in my first video that I will be documenting my travels to Australia. I went there in 2013 and was there for one year. So it's a huge amount of photos. I have a lot of memorabilia, a lot of stories and memories to document and to tell. So this is a huge project. So for me, it is important to have kind of a guideline how I'm planning my project. To achieve that I have five steps to plan out what I what I want to do before I even start really going into my project. So the first step is to decide which project I want to work on. So I already did that because I know I want to work on my Australia album or my documentation of my travel experience in Australia and that's my focus project for the next month. It, it is important, I think it's important to focus on one project. You can do some other bits and pieces and yeah, just create a card here or do a layout here or do some project life, but the main focus of your scrapping time should be on that project. I think it's important because otherwise if you just do one thing and then the project is not, or you not continue pro creating on this project, then you will not finish it at all or later it's there and you have to yeah, think about all of it again. So. Focus on one project and decide which you want to do. So first step, get a project out or think about projects you want to document and choose one project. That's the project you want to do in the next weeks or month or however long it takes. So mine will take a long time, I know, but um, I want to focus on it. So that's step one. Step two. Um, so that's kind of how I achieve it. Go to your memorabilia, everything you have um, about this travel experience and collect it. So first I put all my photos on my hard drive and had this hard drive there. So I had all the photos together. That's important because sometimes you have like some on the one camera, some on, my, on your mobile phone and get them together on your computer, on your hard drive, wherever you want, but they have to be in one place. Then I uh, collected all the memorabilia, all the things I journaled, all the things we posted on our blog when we went there and collected all of them and had them together. And this is important for me because if they are all around, you can't really think um, you can't really get, in f get a feeling how much you have to document. So this is to get a quick overview of what you have, what you want to document and all this. It's just rough, but it's good to have this rough idea um, what's going on. So grab all the things that are connected to your travel experience and put them in a box, in a 
carton whatever you have like if you have just a small amount it's okay to put it in an envelope or in a plastic bag or if you have more than that just use a box or whatever just sort them and not sort them put them together in there so i call this box uh, in this on this stage of my process this is the mess messy project box for my travel experience to australia so this messy box it's step two just collect everything and put it in the messy box perfect so step three um uh, now on to the sorting so you put everything into the messy box and it's all in there but to work with it is not really hand you can't really handle all the stuff that's in there because yeah it's just put there in there and stays there but now it's important to do the sorting and please make sure to set aside like two hours and do the sorting i know it's hard to um, put aside time but um, i think it's important to do it in one um, session and then if you have the time to do it um, just take all the memorabilia and i do my sorting on the floor of my office and just start working with it and the whole thing for me is to put my memorabilia my journal things and all the stuff into piles and these piles depend on whatever i'm documenting so these piles can be by day by week by state by country whatever you like and for me it was i sorted my things by state because I went for one year like doing it by day wouldn't work for me because I had 360 uh, piles and yeah I wouldn't ha couldn't handle this so it's important that you're not um, doing too many piles because then you don't have the overview and it's important to not do less piles because if you're just doing like you're going on a vacation and doing uh it's for two weeks and you're doing it weekly then it's you can do it it's up to you so you are the boss and can't decide how you want to do it but i think like two parts are not really sorting all the things out enough because when you have one pile it's together and you're doing two piles there could be quite large so make sure to have a good amount of piles after um, sorting so basically what i did i said i want to do it by state and i had seven piles um, so i um, combined the um, let me check i combined sorry i have my notes here because i have to all the things together yes i combined the new south wales and the australian uh, australia capital territory together because we went to canberra it was nice but it was just like two or three days so i wanted to do it with the other state together and thought this would work perfectly together and yeah i sorted just my memorabilia and put these piles so i made post-it post -it note things and wrote down the um the state and then put them on the ground and when i had something i looked at it and put it there and so i had it sorted out after a while um and i think it's good so now you have a quite good overview of all the things you have because you have looked at, at all of them once and that's that's making the process uh, much easier for me i think so um i just sorted my memorabilia journaling things and all this but i don't have photos printed yet so if you are doing a project and you have already printed your photos do the same thing with your photos because 
then you have all the piles ready and then you can go on from there. If you have your photos digital like me, I have them on my uh, hard drive and yeah, they are not printed yet. Not yeah, I have not worked on the photos, so I have to do the sorting, thinking which ones I want to um, yeah, print and all these things. So um, then do not focus on the photos. We will do this next week in another photo and then uh, in another video. <laughs> and then I will tell you how I do this and how I decide to um, which photos I want to print and how I decide on their size and all this stuff. So that's all about step three. Step four, um, because I already said now you have a rough overview of what you have and what you want to document. Um, now you should decide on kind of a basic decision, but it's important. Uh, decide um, how you want to document your travels. Should it be 12 by 12 layouts or should it be pocket pages or in a mini album or in a traveler's notebook? There's so many options and for me it's always hard to decide. So I think it's most important to decide in the beginning. So now it's the point to say I want to do this and that. And you should decide on the size as well. So when you say I do pocket pages, you can do 12 by 12, 9 by 12, 6 by 8. There are so many sizes. So decide on what, what kind of project you want to work or what, yeah, if you want to do layouts, pocket pages and so on, or if you want uh, and which size you want to work on. Um, and for myself, I decided to work in a 12 by 12 album. So I want to do 12 by 12 layouts and I want to do, uh, I want to combine it with pocket pages. And I would like to have the option to include nine by 12 or six by 12. So I will do a video about my project life uh, later on uh, this year but it's the same concept I'm doing there so I'm doing layouts there I'm doing pocket pages and I'm doing also inserts that are in a different size so this is my uh, uh, approach for my Australia album as well so I want to mix it up a little bit because otherwise I get bored and I like to um, yeah get it out and look through it and it's something different on every page so like that and I want to keep this for my Australia album as well and on to the next step it's step five you should um, make a plan I know this sounds so easy but we normally do not take the time to really set aside time and plan to work on our projects so I think it's most important to really um, include our um, work on the project in our schedule. So set aside some time, plan it in your planner or whatever or wherever you plan your time and set aside really a fixed appointment with yourself and your project um, to work on it. You don't have to write what you're doing there, but just set aside the time, like two hours on Wednesday from 6 to 8 p.m. You were working on the project. And that's really something you should then really do. Um, so the project will be finished or will be, yeah, you, inst uh, you really work on it every week or every now and then when you can, but really try to set aside time for it. And so, yeah, these are my five tips or steps I'm doing. I hope you try them out and uh, yeah, let me know in the comments below. What do you think? How do you plan your uh, projects? And what's the most important for you to get started and sort all the things out? Um, yeah, I want to make sure that you um, start your project and do not get overwhelmed. That's 
that was my case when I had a mind to do my um, documentation of my Australia travels because there's so much to document and I was overwhelmed. So I figured out this um, concept or this these five steps and all the other things I will be showing you and it really really works. So let me know what you think about it and make sure to check out Julia's video. I will link it in the description box down below and I'm so excited to see how she's planning her um, travel documentation and see you next week. I will be talking about how to um, decide on your photos and all the things so stay tuned for that and see you next week. Bye!